day two of the five days to Christmas. Okay, this one is really close to my heart. I think it's really fun and cute. It's another kids movie, it's fine. Most Christmas movies are kids movies anyways, so I think that I'm a little bit justified. So this movie is a classic, classic. Like everybody watches this movie, I feel like. If you haven't watched this movie, you should definitely go and see it. It's number two on my list. It's my second favorite Christmas movie. And that is Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown or A Charlie Brown Christmas, whichever one it is. I always get the titles mixed up. It's just one of those things that it just doesn't really compute. But if you haven't watched Charlie Brown Christmas, um, this movie is basically about Charlie Brown and the gang, the Peanuts gang, talking about what Christmas is, what Christmas means to each and every one person. So Lucy has her extravagant Christmas. Christmas is about the, the play, the Christmas play that's happening. It's just a lot of different things coming together and, you know, Charlie Brown is having this crisis that what is Christmas? Then Linus comes in and reads a passage from Luke and talks about Christmas. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. It says that's what Christmas really means, Charlie Brown. It's super cute. So th the reason why I think this is a really good Christmas movie is because there's nothing like watching a movie, watching a Christmas movie, full of a bunch of kids having midlife crises. That's basically the plot of every Charlie Brown comic, movie, TV show, special, whatever. It's these little tiny kids talking about adult topics in a way that kids understand. And that's so hard to do, so hard. So Charles Schultz is a mastermind of not dumbing things down, that's the wrong word, but just simplifying complex situations and providing simple answers to those con complex situations. This movie is really cute. I think it really embodies what people go through every Christmas and that's just thinking about what they've done this year. Like the year isn't over yet. So Christmas season comes around, the year isn't over yet, but it's getting there. So this is the reflection period where they're reflecting on everything that happens. They're talking about things like, should I get a fake Christmas tree because it looks better and but I miss the Christmas tree smell. I celebrate Christmas alone and I have this one little tiny twig of a tree and that's all that I have for Christmas. But then your friends and your family and your community come together and create a very simple sweet Christmas that is really special to the individual and to a small small group of people rather than celebrating it with the world with tin Christmas trees that are pink. I always feel bad for Charlie Brown in these movies because he always is messing up in the most extravagant ways possible, but that's just how he is. That's who he is as a character. There's no Grinch. There's no bad guy in this. It's just Charlie Brown trying to figure out life during Christmas. And some people think it's a long list to Santa Claus. It's this commercial Christmas where there are fake Christmas trees painted different colors. But for most people, it's a very simple celebration where people get together and just spend time with one another and give and receive and most of it is giving to other people. That's why I think this is a good Christmas movie because it really just creates this sense of warmth and love. It pre presents you with a problem, like what does Christmas mean to you? And then provides you with a solution. They take all of the elements of what other people celebrate for Christmas and just simplify it down to what Christmas is really about. And it's that one segment where Linus has the spotlight on stage and just talking about the meaning of Christmas. So key elements that are in this Christmas movie that are across the board in most Christmas movies, but specifically to this movie, there has to be some sort of competition, like a decorating competition. So this wasn't really a competition, but Snoopy has his house decorated and it's fantastic. Like it's so cool. And then Charlie Brown has his little rinky dinky tree with a little ornament falling off. There has to be a competition of some sort or like a comparison of what's better and what you have. Also, I feel like this is kind of self-explanatory, but there needs to be some sort of like Christmas attire. You can't just be wearing normal stuff. You have to be wearing Christmas colors and warmth and layers. No matter where in the world you are, you have to be wearing layers or some form of layering or Christmas decorum on your, like an earring or an ugly sweater or something like that. But that's number two. That's my second favorite Christmas movie of this Christmas season. And I can't wait to tell you what my favorite, 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 favorite Christmas movie is. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Also, I have a video dropping tomorrow alongside of the Christmas 
five days of Christmas special that I've been doing lately. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing to my channel. Merry Christmas.